Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you the three blues that are included in this Kramer Pigments watercolor box set number one. Let's swatch the colors first before I use them to paint this sketch on the side. This is a very beautiful transparent warm blue with very obvious granulation. PB35 is also a granulating color. And this is PB28. So this is the color that is very surprising to me because it really doesn't look like cobalt blue at all. Let's compare Kramer Pigments version to Daniel Smith's PB35. I guess you can say they look kind of similar, but for PB28, this looks like a PG50, a cobalt teal, instead of cobalt blue. This is more greenish, this is more blue, and this is the PB28 I have in mind when I think of cobalt blue. All right, let's paint this sketch. This is actually an imaginary sketch. So I want to wet the sky first and then have cobalt blue light blend into turquoise light. This is a very beautiful color. Maybe have some cobalt blue dark right at the top there. Whoa, okay, this is nice. And this is cobalt blue turquoise light. Whoa, check out the beautiful color. Let's have the red roofs here. This is PR254, if I remember correctly. And this is PY154 with cobalt blue dark. Let's have a light wash of titanium orange, PBR24 for this building here. This is PR264. We're going to have the light source coming in from this direction, so the cast shadows will be on the left side. For the cast shadows, I'm going to have the darker shadow. I'll be cobalt blue dark and burnt sienna. So let's work very quickly. Well, this is, as you can see, it's really dark. Let's mix with some cerulean blue or PB35 for this side here. And for this here, all this will be in shade. Maybe this here will be in shade as well. This is the same wash. Let's have some details here. The thing with PB74 is its tinting strength is not particularly high. So you have to use a lot of paint to mix darker colors and you can use up PB74 quite quickly. So to mix the darker colors, I'll be using phthalo green and the cool red PR264. Let's see if we can mix a nice gray with PB28 and burnt sienna. This is PB28 and PY154. I really like the blues in this particular box set. They are very beautiful. They are all granulating and they can produce very nice textures. The paper that I'm using here is Fabriano Artistico cold press watercolor paper. So this is PB74, this is PB35 and this is PB28. So this 
Cobalt Blue Turquoise Light PB28, it doesn't look like the classic Cobalt Blue, which makes me wonder uh, what is the real Cobalt Blue that Kramer Pigments is selling. Anyway, I really love this color. Uh, with this particular sketch, I actually did not mix a lot of purples with the blues, so maybe I will make another video on mixing purples with these three blues. So this street sign here, this was mixed with this PB28 and PY154. We can get a very nice um, solid green here, as well as the green here. So all these shadow areas, all these are PB24 PB mixed with burnt sienna. It's a lovely transparent color that glazes really well. This is PR264 and this is PR254. And we have very noticeable granulation here as well. By the way, Kramer Pigments is a company based in Germany. They also have a physical store in New York. They also make pigments, so they sell not just paint, but also the raw ingredients, the pigment themselves. And they sell a lot of different types of watercolor box set. This box set that I have, it's box set number one. They also have a box set just for blues. If you like blues, you should check out this video by Dr. Otto Kano, where she reviewed this particular box set with 14 blues and this box set is US $239. This is very expensive because it has this very expensive color in mint blue. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And also uh, if you are interested to check out my review for this particular box set, um, I will put the link to my video as well as Dr. Otto Kano's video in the video description below. In case you are wondering how purple looks, because I did not mix a lot of purples, this is how it looks. So this is PB28 mixed with PR264. So it kind of neutralizes this very vibrant color into this gray, which is very beautiful. And this is PB35 mixed with PR264. This is also very beautiful. And we can see some really beautiful granulation. Next we have Cobalt Blue Dark PB74 mixed with PR264. And this is what we have. This is also quite nice. This is how the swatches look when dry. There is very noticeable color separation because cobalt is a heavy pigment. So it's very likely for cobalt to separate itself from the other color it's used to mix with. If you have cobalt colors in watercolor tubes, you may find it quite common for the cobalt to separate itself from the binder. So here I can see the vibrant blue in this wash here. Here's an extreme close up. So this looks really nice. And on the right side here, we have cobalt blue dark. PB74 mixed with PR264, again we see very obvious color separation and granulation. This is also lovely, very lovely. And this is PB35 with PR264, again we have color separation and granulation. So these are the different results when mixed with the same PR264. We have obvious purple, less obvious, and this very neutralized wash. 
Thanks for watching this very impromptu video that I decided to make today. See you guys again. Bye.